In this next problem, we're going to be finding the area of a basement floor and use that information to, to determine how many cans of paint we'll need to cover the floor and then determine the total cost. Like with any composite figure, you can divide the shape up in any way you'd like. In this case, I'm using a horizontal line to divide this shape into two rectangles. I'm going to name them Area 1 and Area 2. And since they're both rectangles, we'll use the area of a rectangle formula, length times width. Substituting the length and width of each rectangle into the formula gives us 2.3 meters times 2.5 meters for the first, and 3.2 meters times 1.8 meters for the second. Multiplying our lengths times our widths separately will give us 5.75 meters squared, and 5.76 meters squared. So we'll now take these two results and add them together to get the total area of the entire composite figure. So we should end up with a total area of 11.51 meters squared. In part B, we need to now determine how many cans of paint we'll need, assuming that each can of paint will cover 3.5 meters squared. Now if you recall, we do know the total area of the basement floor as 11.51 meters squared. Now some students might choose to use a table in order to create a relationship or, or at least demonstrate the relationship. If I have zero cans of paint, I'm not going to cover any area. But one can is 3.5 meters squared. Two cans is going to be double 3.5, which is 7 meters squared. Three cans gives us 10.5 meters squared. And finally, four cans gives us 14 meters squared. So we know it's going to be somewhere in this range here, but what what will the exact number be? So it looks like we're going to need at least four cans of paint because three cans will not be enough. But how can I find an actual value mathematically so I don't have to draw this table out? Since in the table we were doubling our values, since for every can of paint we added, we added 3.5 meters, you can see that 3.5 is definitely an important number here. And if we have a total area of 11.51 meters squared, if we divide that by how much area each can of paint will cover, what we'll get is how many cans of paint we're going to need exactly. So after dividing, we can see we need just over three cans of paint, as we saw in our table, which means we will have to purchase a full four cans of paint. So since we need those four full cans of paint, and each can of paint costs $15.25, we're going to have to multiply those four cans of paint by the cost. And while estimating tells us that we're looking at about $60, if we want to be exact, 4 times 50 is 60, plus another 4 quarters, or 4 times 20, 0.25, we should end up with a total of $61. However, something else we need to consider, though, is that we do need to include our 13% HST. So we could have added the HST to each individual can of paint, or we can add it to the total cost of four cans of paint. So I'm going to uh, add it to the $61, and anytime we're using a percentage, we are going to be multiplying. We won't just add a percentage on, because a percentage is for every 100 of a quantity, you're going to add a certain number in terms of percent. So in this case, for every $100 we spend, we need $13 in tax. So since we're under $100, I know my tax is going to be under 
$13. So let's see what happens here when we multiply. Now be careful because when you do multiply by a percentage, what we need to really do is we need to be multiplying by 13 out of 100 or we can write that as a decimal as 0.13. So our total comes out to $7.93, but keep in mind that is only the tax, and thus we do need to add that on to our $61 in paint. So we're looking at a total cost of $68.93.